Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome to my daily FIFA 22 Chelsea realistic slash sensible career mode on the channel. So, the career settings for this first season, we're going to chuck the match difficulty on ultimate, four minute halves, sterling is our currency, we're in European competitions of course, but controversially we're going to be turning off the first transfer window in July and August, it has been disabled. So, we won't be able to sign players till January. Let me know in the comments, players you'd like me to sign in the future. We're going to turn off international job offers and we're going to chuck on strict transfer negotiations. And for the financial takeover, we'll turn that off as well. So we're taking over last year's Champions League winners. And yes, I'm going to try and keep it sensible and realistic. Keep an element of realism in the series where I can. So... The objective of this series is to try and win the Premier League and the Champions League again in as few seasons as possible. I sort of want to create a dynasty at Chelsea. We're going to play, what, six, seven matches here today. And it's a bit of a change of pace on the channel because I've just recently wrapped up, you could say, my unrealistic Manchester United and Real Madrid series, which was a lot of fun just being able to sign whoever we want, whenever we want, and just spend absurd <laughs> amount on signings. But I want a bit of a change of pace for this Chelsea career series. All right, let me know in the comments other career modes you'd like me to do in the future and feedback and suggestions always welcome in the comments. Okay, well, let's dive into the squad, the formation I'm going to be playing this season, and the tactics. Oh, it's going to be a lot of fun, because FIFA 22 Ultimate Difficulty is so much harder than FIFA 21. So I have found myself diving into my formations and tactics a lot more than last year. So if you're using my FIFA 21 tactics of my 4-3-3 attack overlapping, sort of my high-octane, rock-and-roll, um, heavy metal football, you can't really use that on Ultimate Difficulty in FIFA 22 that I've found. So I'm going to have a couple formations that I want to play this season. So I think the best formation for this this Chelsea team is a 3-5-2, um, basically. 3-5-2. So Timo Werner leading the line. Lukaku uh, next to him. We'll have Kai Havertz in the cam. And then when we want to go defensive, we'll go with a 5-3-2. So we'll drop back quite deep. And we're going to have to use our tactics a lot in our games that I've found. Because normally you can keep it on balanced in FIFA 21, but I found you have to switch from attack to defense def depending on the momentum of the game. So I think my best team, we'll make sure everyone's on the right position, is Mount, Kante, or Conte now. I've got to learn to change that. Uh, we've also got Pulisic on the left, Hakim Ziyech on the right, Thiago Silva, Rudiger, Aspil Equator, and Mendy in goal. We've got a lot of squad depth in this team, which is fantastic. So there will be a lot of rotations throughout the season. So here are my balance tactics, my width and depth. We'll go long ball, direct passing, and we'll keep things quite balanced. So we'll go to a 5-4-1 in ultra defense, same with defense, but when we need to push and really go for the game, we'll go for a 3-4-2-1. I think that is our best formation. But mostly we'll stay in a 3-5-2, depending if we score and concede. Look, if we need to win the points and we go a goal down, we'll go ultra attacking. If we're okay with the draw, we'll drop back and go five in the back. So we've just got to sort of really be smart in our game management this season. But you're most welcome to pause and have a look at the tactics. Uh, most of the positions are just common sense uh, for the players, the, like the players' instructions. Like, I want to... In, for example, with an ultra-attacking formation, I want my players to, of course, overlap, go forward, cut inside, and while being defensive, we want to let them stay back while attacking, cover the central passing lanes, and basically let the striker roam about a bit. So, they're the tactics. Most want to pause and have a look. It took me a while to make those. So, we do have some players we could um, recall, but... Even though in FIFA, I, I'm kind of annoyed that this is still in the game. So even though we've turned off the transfer window, we can still recall players in this active transfer window. In Football Manager, you're not actually allowed to do that. It won't let you. So there's a couple players here that I'm tempted to maybe bring back in January. Billy Gilmore, maybe Gallagher. Um, Saul is currently on loan for us, which is cool. Bakioko as well. Like, Do we really need to sign a, a, a crazy 
a bunch of players because we've got a, a lot of fantastic low knees at our disposal. Let me know if I should recall them, any of those in January. So I've transfer sort of shortlisted players that I would like to bring in in January. Uh, we could bring in Jules Kunde, heavily rumoured. We could go for someone a little bit different. Uh, Lucas Hernandez, Max Ahrens. I'd kind of like to bring back Tammy Abraham if we could. But I'll let that one up to you guys. And we also could bring back our former player, uh, Lamptey, as well. So a lot of these players have been linked with the club at some point. Okay, so Youth Academy-wise, we probably need to rely on this a lot more than what I would like. Because we don't really have uh, that many backup strikers. It's basically just Timo and Lukaku. So we might need to bring in some particularly attacking reinforcements, but so far, <laughs> not the best crop we've got to start off with. So we'll go out and we'll set up some youth academies around the world. So we'll hire two more additional scouts. I'm thinking we'll pay homage to the Ivorian front line that we had at the club. Like, uh, let's try and get the next Didier Drogba. How cool would that be? So we'll send one of our scouts to the Ivory Coast, the Cote d'Ivoire, down in Africa, and we'll try and get the next Drogba, ideally. So what have we got here? Attacker, I think we'll chuck that on. And then I'm not really too fussed of where we get the next from. We could go to England, maybe France, Germany. We'll send Tommy Thompson to uh, South London, eh? <laughs> See if we can pick up... Some uh, some London boys, I guess. Yeah, Tommy Thompson. What a name. We've got to send him to uh, London to try and just find anyone. <laughs> and we've got Halmar Bergman. <laughs> we'll send the big Berg to... Where can we go? France, I think. We'll mix it up. I sent my last lot of scouts to Australia and America and stuff. But we'll send this one to France. Get some French boys in. Okay, so in the July window, we've got obviously the South Asian tournament. Then we've got Villarreal in the Super Cup, Crystal Palace, Arsenal, then Liverpool. A tough bunch of fixtures. And then we've got Champions League coming up in September. Alright. So we've got a match here against Bayern Munich to start things off. Here's the team. I'm tempted to see how well our boys do in this simulation against a really good team. 2-1 we win. Kai Havertz picks up a brace, scoring in the 32nd minute. Then there was some substitution rotations. And then we scored in the 62nd as well. So we managed to get the better of Bayern. That was a pretty strong Bayern Munich team as well. So we're going to sim through the friendlies. I'm curious to see how our team performs. So we're facing a Japanese side, Osaka, and we've smashed them 3-0 in Japan. <laughs> so Kai Havertz, man, is having an amazing preseason. Another brace, and Lukaku picks up his goal. We've got another match here now. I think this is a Korean side. I could be wrong. But anyway, let's quick sim against them. 3-1. Kai Havertz picks up an another brace. And Timo Werner picks up his first preseason goal. Crikey. So we're in the semi-finals now of the Asian Elite Cup in Japan. Juventus play against Bayern Munich and we face Real Madrid. So, so far this 3-5-2 is working really well on the sim. We'll quick sim this one as well. We're a little bit exhausted this time around. And unfortunately that's probably what cost us there. Real Madrid beat us 3-0. Lucas Vazquez picking up two goals, and Tony Cruz with the other. Okay, I've set up some development plans as well, just to get that additional growth. So, basically, sweeper keeper I like for my goalkeepers. It just depends on how you guys want to sort of grow your players. I like to prioritize sprint speed, but then once we get sort of towards the forward line, I like to have the strong weak foot for both players. Uh, defenders, basically sprint speed. That's what I personally like. But yeah, I don't I don't mind skill moves, but I personally prefer weak foot over. So I prioritize the weak foot and then the speed for my players. But depending if a player's already got five star weak foot, there's no point of 
increasing that even more. You can't. <laughs> so we've got an interesting option here. Um, we're going to have to keep an eye on um, Sol's loan because his contract is going to be expiring. We might actually have to hmm, potentially uh, sign him earlier. You never know. I thought he could recall him because that's a bit of an issue. So we've got a couple of players here that their contract is going to be expiring soon. So we might as well go through here and we'll re-sign everyone I like to a longer deal. So Bayern Munich won the... Asian Elite Cup in Japan on pens. Okay, so we've got our first crop of academy players here. Oh, hear this. Pa look at this guy. Patrice Kuaku. <laughs> I think that's how you say his name. He looks all right. He's worth a million already. Could he be the next Didier Drogba? Patrice. Okay. And in France? 100k? No... No, okay. So not too bad that we got a youth academy player worth about a mil. And what about in England? Noah Jennings? Does that not look like Rory Jennings? Are you... Is that a joke? <laughs> it does look like that Rory Jennings guy. His long lost brother. Alright, so we've got Patrice in. Um... Yeah, 17 years of age. Cam, centre forward. I think looking at his... Because he's got three-star skill, three-star weak foot. He's going to have some decent pace about him. We could chuck him on the wing. Left footer, 5-7. He looks all right. We'll try and bring him into the first team. And I might even just like release some of these guys that are a bit lower down. Ali from Algeria. And we'll keep these two. We'll chuck some development plans on them as well. Because quite often, I think I read this tip somewhere, that Youth Academy players are in the wrong position, like deliberately, in FIFA 22. So you can actually find a better spot for them. For him to be a striker, it's going to take 84 weeks. Crikey. So we might have to put him on the wing. He might be the next Kalu. How about that? <laughs> Not necessarily. Drogba. So it's only going to take two weeks for him to become a winger, which I think is probably better for him. But, eh. 5'7". Kai Havertz isn't that tall, and he's an absolute beast in the cam roll. But we'll chuck him on the right wing for now. Okay, so there's the team. I'm pretty happy with that. And here is the second team as well. We haven't really got a backup striker, so we're going to have to chuck Timo there. So hudson Adoy, Barkley, Saul, Kovacic, Jorginho. I've opted to go with Mount and Kante over Jorginho and Kovacic because of their pace, really. We've got Chalobah, Christensen, and Saar in the defense. Okay, let's get stuck into the first match of the season where we face Villarreal in the UEFA Super Cup. Our first opportunity to win a trophy in this series, and I want to try and win as many as possible. Uh, I kind of don't like that there isn't much prestige around the UEFA Super Cup and the FA Cup. You know what I mean? I wish there was a bit more. Like, I like Jose Mourinho's mindset where he's like, I won the treble at United, <laughs> including the FA Cup. I kind of like to take that approach in Korea, but I don't want to try and win as many trophies as we can. This is going to be a good test for us. If we can win a trophy early on in the season, hopefully that can bring us some confidence and sort of bleed on over to our Champions League and future Premier League ambitions. But Villarreal, uh, not a team to be sniffed at. <laughs> they obviously won the Europa League last season and they're in the Champions League. They're going to be pushing for those Champions League spots in the Liga. It'll be a good test for us just to sort of see where we are against a exciting Villa, Villarreal side that, yeah, want to continue on with winning ways. Under Unai Emery, let's go. Romelu Lukaku with the kickoff. Werner. Mount. Kante, or Conte, finds Hakim Ziyech. Just a nice one-two pass. Oh, what a tackle there by Hakim Ziyech. Puts it along the deck to Lukaku <laughs> from kickoff. Two minutes and 50 seconds in, we've managed to pick up a goal. Wow, what a great ball inside from Hakim Ziyech. He was the MVP of that highlight. An amazing tackle on the left back there. That's what caused that. Lukaku smashes it into the bottom left. That is such a quintessential Lukaku goal. 
cool, calm and collected, curls it around his man. We're 1-0 up from kickoff. What a start using sort of the, the wing sweat there. Romelu Lukaku scores his first goal of the Chelsea career mode. Let's go. Great start in the Super Cup. Havertz, Lukaku, sends through Timo Werner. Oh, big save with the feet. Lukaku, Kai Havertz had an amazing preseason. Back to Lukaku. And he scores his second of the match. Cool, calm, and collected. A nice, low, driven shot into the bottom left this time. That's something special by Romelu Lukaku. Fantastic technical ability from Kai to get back, flick it back to Lukaku, and this guy is an absolute menace in the box as a Manchester United supporter. I love Lukaku, man. I'm so gutted that he left Old Trafford, but uh, it's great to see that in real life he's really stepped up at Chelsea. Villarreal here on the attack. First real highlight. Gomez. Parejo. Wow. Former Villarreal reject. Gets a really good shot on target against me. Ball in. Mendy dealt with. Gomez on the inside. Second half now. Gerard Moreno. Villarreal look dangerous here. Good save, Mendy. We're going to need you to pull out some top-notch saves. Because we could look to replace him in the future. But I want to try and keep... Oh, another good save. He's doing all right there, Mendy. I reckon he's better in career mode than David De Gea, to be honest. Dave was terrible in my United series. One fourth. Tries to get to the header. The former Spurs man puts it out. <laughs> Karma. Oh, hang on. They've overloaded me here. They've pushed a lot of players forward. Good on Aspie. Oh, I was going to say good interception, Aspie. No. Whoa, Mendy. Another good save. We lead 2-0 at the moment. Corner kick now. Danny Parejo ball in. Oh, just over the bar. Havertz on the attack. After having an amazing preseason, puts the ball into space for Timo Werner. Going to get closed down. We might have to get the shot. Oh, I was trying to hope for a deflection, to be honest. Anyway, we're 2-0 up in the 75th minute. And I want to show you guys an example that I'm going to do a lot this season. So now that we've got the lead, we're going to drop to the five at the back formation. We're going to park the bus. We're going to go ultra defensive. And the two substitutions we're going to do is Chilwell and James. So... That's really good for us. We can drop back, we can bring on those two players, and we can sit back with Aspie, uh, Rudiger, Silva, and Kante as well. So we'll just change the position slightly because I want them to be further back once we deploy the ultra-defensive formation. So that's what I want to play this season. Ultra-defensive, we'll chuck on Chilwell and James, but if we need to go offensive, we can. Coquelin driving the ball forward here. We're deliberately giving up a lot of space and freedom in the midfield, but Villarreal are just really going for it. Come on. Hold the line, boys. No! We concede in the 90th minute. Oh, my God. I concede so often on the stroke of the 45th and the 90. It can't be just me. When do you guys concede in career mode? But I think we've done enough here to hold out to a 2-1 victory over Villarreal. We started off incredibly well in the first half. They were probably a little bit hard done by in the second. Mendy pulled out some crazy top-notch saves. But he wasn't infallible at the end. That's a great strike. Tracked the ball well, Mendy. However, Villarreal scores an absolute brilliant goal there. Look at that. Great curling effort by them. So, Unai Emery finally gets his goal, but it's going to be too late. We're going to claim the UEFA Super Cup for our own and our first trophy of the season. Let's go. Chelsea win 2-1. Lukaku started off well, scoring a brace within 15 minutes, and then Villarreal in the 90th minute got no more than a consolation goal. But Aspie 
Aspilicueta will be lifting the trophy for the first time this season. The Chelsea captain. So, that was good. I really enjoyed that match. We learned a lot. We can start off early going with a balanced high-octane attack. Then we can sort of drop back a bit, defend, and draw out a result in a cup final. But there we are. The Blues win their first piece of silverware this season. So hopefully now that can give us confidence, motivation, and a bit of a blueprint how to approach the Champions League this season and the Premier League. Hopefully... We can win either one of those. If I can't, I'll consider this first season a failure. We're also going to be going hard in the FA and Carabao Cups as well. I want to try and win as many trophies as we can and create a winning culture at Chelsea. We want to create a dynasty, man. We want to just try and win as many trophies as we can. Continue on from Thomas Tuchel's legacy, I guess, <laughs> of winning the Champions League last year. So, 2-1. Uh, we'll take the dub off that. Alright, so here's the Premier League, of course. Yet to be played. Arsenal are currently at the top of the Premier League. Because they're the only team to play a match. Along with Brentford. Um, Champions League-wise. We're in a pretty easy group. We've got Juventus. Malmo, and I think that's a Turkish site. I don't even know what that is. Kasimpasa. I don't even know where or what that is. And then we've got the Carabao and FA Cup round one and two still yet to be played. Okay, let's get stuck into the first match of the Premier League season. We face Crystal Palace at home at Stamford Bridge. Let's get stuck into it. We face the boys from Croydon. It's going to be a good one. A little bit of a London rivalry going on, of course. They've got a really good front three. Wilf Zaha, Eduard, and Easy. But we want to start off our campaign well with a win, hopefully. Here is Stamford Bridge. We've got the fire cannons going off already. I guess we saved a couple from last year's Champions League run. It should be a good real test again uh, for us to start off our season. Then we've got Arsenal and then Liverpool. So two huge matches to come. Romelu Lukaku has the kickoff. Let's get underway at the bridge. Werner. Kai Havertz to Lukaku. Kai has slipped through Hakim Ziyech inside. It's offside by the smallest of margins. Conte. Havertz. Trying to find Lukaku. Drops back. Supplies Kai. Nice little bit of skill to Lukaku. Werner picks up the crumbs. Go on, Pulisic. Chop back. Go off the post. And he's got a cracker. Zaha at the other end now. Bad tackle by Rudiger. Come on. The Blues. Oh, just wide. Okay. Patrick Vieira's Crystal Palace go again here. Ball in. Good stuff, boys. Let's counter. Lukaku. Nice, good roll of the ball. Havertz. We've got a lot of space on this left-hand side. Come on. Come on, Chelsea. Oh. <laughs> Havertz with a shot on target. We've definitely had a, a decent amount of chances in this match. We probably deserve to at least be 1-0 up. Ball in. Lukaku gets to the header. Second half now. Lukaku turns. Hakim Ziyech. Chops back in danger. Havertz! Wide. It's currently nil-nil at the bridge. Oh, so close. Pulisic. Oh, beats Eze in the header. Werner on the ball. And let's go again. We've got to be relentless. Going forward. Lukaku! Oh! How's he got onto that one? Flooding players forward. Werner picks up the ball to Kai. And Lukaku drops the worm. The big <laughs> Belgian big man Rom makes it 1-0. With a crazy looking goal. He put so much of his forward momentum going forward. He nearly f he fell over. He quite literally slipped. Stuck his foot out to it. 
and managed to get the angle there. Charging forward, lost his footing, but somehow managed to flick it into the back of the net thanks to a nice ball from Kai Havertz. And I'm absolutely ecstatic on the touchline. We've finally broken through Crystal Palace's defence. The Blues lead the Eagles 1-0. Let's go. Rom scores his first of the Prem. He might be on in here again. Kai to Werner. Timo! Nice check shot. Good save, man. We've been really on fire in this match. Mounts. Drops back. Thiago Silva can't get it out. Misses the slide tackle. Gallagher against his former side. Oh, he's a low knee, I guess. Gets a good shot. And that's it. First match of the season was a close one. A 1-0 victory against Crystal Palace. Probably deserved it, to be honest. We created a lot of chances against them. But it was just the narrow 1-0 victory. How many goals should we have gotten from that? It was just super close in the end. 4.1 expected goals to Crystal Palace's 1.3. Yeah. Our shot accuracy was quite poor in the end, unfortunately. Okay, so Patrice, his development plan's now done, so we can change him to a right winger. Perfect. Okay. Now he's 64 rated at 17 years of age. So he was worth roughly around about a million pounds. He wasn't worth two million, which is always better. But yeah, we could maybe bring him into the first team. Because we eventually want to make him a striker. It's going to take... A long time for that to happen, though. So, we'll promote him to the senior team. Just see what we can customize with him, because when you hire or recruit youth academy players, I like to sort of customize them a bit. Let's give him a tight kit. Maybe keep, maybe keep it tucked in. Um, I don't mind him having those boots. We probably actually don't need to do too much with him. He kind of looks like Kalu, doesn't he? Yeah, I think we'll keep him like that. Well, we might not make him a striker in the end, because this is going to take too long. Uh, I've been dreaming about this happening. Thanks for giving me a chance. Sure. Okay, and... He can be... on the bench for us, because... we are lacking... centre-forward slash strikers in this squad. Okay, so let's get stuck into... Arsenal. First away match of the season, we face the Gooners. We started off the season well with a 4-0 victory in this alternative timeline. A victory against Brentford. Let's get stuck into them. Romelu Lukaku loves scoring against the Gunners. So hopefully he can pick up a couple goals here today. Alright, let's get things underway. 4-2-3-1, Arsenal are playing at the Emirates. Or oh, the Blues come with the 3-5-2 formation. So, yeah, the way we're sort of playing is like when Conte was at the club. And here we go, Pepe. First opportunity of the match. Going forward for the Gunners. Ball in. Ah. Werner. Lukaku. Nice ball over the top. Hakim Ziyech. Oh, he's put it over the bar. Oh, completely mistimed the volley. Oh, it doesn't matter. It was offside anyway. Saka. Good tackle. Rudiger coming out. Commanding with the tackle. And Kai trying to slip Lukaku forward. Go on, Lukaku. Oh, it's been spilt to Timo. It's a goal. Just before the 15th minute, Romelu Lukaku fires a wayward shot. It was enough to test Leno. And Timo Werner at the back post with the crumbs. The poacher makes it 2-0 and scores his first goal of the Premier League season. Let's go, man. Where is Ramsdale? Arsenal fans are screaming. Why have they got this fraud Leno in goal? <laughs> so his first goal in two matches this season. Timo Werner finally puts his name on the score sheet. Let's go. Xhaka to Odegaard. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Aubameyang inside to Pepe. 
Nicolas Pepe. Oh, just wide. Good defending and containing by the Blues. We keep our one-year lead. Pepe really running the show in this match. He's been playing some great football. Just smashes it wide. Havertz to Rom. Opportunity here for Chelsea. Holds up the ball well. Nice bit of skill. Werner again with the crumbs. That was a better goal. We're on with a couple of fancy flicked on skill moves. Gets the shot on target. And once again, the powerful thumping strike by Lukaku. Leno can't contain it. And it's fallen to Timo Werner again. Rom feels like he's been a bit robbed, I guess. But Timo scores a brace in this London derby. Lukaku goes again here now. Oh, he's finally got his name on the score sheet. <laughs> got enough to put it past Leno. And the amount of whack celebrations Romelu Lukaku is bringing out is quite mad. 3-0. We're running away with this one. Arsenal have capitulated at the back. They are absolutely morale-shocked. Odegaard plays it short to Aubameyang. And hopefully we can hold off another Arsenal attack. Slide tackle comes in, failed. Nice one-two pass. Saka to Odegaard. Whoa. 3-1. Finally giving up the ghost and the clean sheet. Mendy concedes in the top left. Odegaard celebrating over the Chelsea fans. Couple nice one-two passes. Odegaard... Receives the ball by Saka. Mendy can't do much about that. That was a really top-notch clinical finish. Havertz puts it on a plate for Werner. On a hat-trick, Timo Werner. Ah, the shot's been saved. Timo could have had our first hat-trick of the career. Damn. Brom. To Havertz. Ah, couldn't put his foot onto it. Another diving attempt to go. Havertz with the corner kick. Ball in. Jorginho off the bench. Over the bar. But that's it. We've managed to go out and win another match. We beat Mikel Arteta. That's not Mikel Arteta. <laughs> that doesn't look like him whatsoever. 3-1. A really dominant performance against... Arsenal, and look at that. Six expected goals to Arsenal's 1.7. We definitely deserved the three points in that match. Thirteen shots to six as well. Domination is the word that comes to mind. All right, this is our first test of the career mode, our first big test after two games played, we sit at top with points and goal difference. Lukaku is the second top goal scorer. But we face Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool in second. West Ham in third. Man City fourth. Wolves in sixth place. But let's get stuck into Liverpool. We go away to Anfield. Hopefully we can continue upon our good away form. But it's probably going to be myself and you'd think potentially... This Liverpool side and Man City are probably the title favourites. It's going to be a, a three-man race, you'd think, in this career series and in real life, of course. I can't wait to see how this Premier League season, both in the career and real life, develop. It's such good football on at the moment. Conte back to Silva. Oh, Ziyech. Dominating that left-hand side, slipping in. Just needs to beat Mane. He beats two. Inside to Havertz. He shoots. He scores. 1-0 from a brilliant run by Hakim Ziyech. A flying ball comes in. Wow. What a magnificent piece of hold-up play by Kai. And a fantastic to finish to top it off. Absolute blinder there. Off the chest. Turns, keeps the ball control, and smashes it on his left, curling past Trent and Allison. If we were going to start a, 
uh, scoring against Liverpool, it would have to take a top-notch goal. And that's it right there. 1-0 we lead the Scousers. Firmino. Liverpool still not down and out for the count just yet. 14 minutes in, ball in, and it's going to go out, thankfully. Aspie to Pulisic. And let's go and try to create a counter-attack. Aspie Laqueta try and get the overlapping run. It's going to be another throw in for the Blues, and we go again. That was terrible. Mo Salah getting dangerously on that side to cut it on his left. Oh, it's off the crossbar. He didn't actually cut it and curl it. He just smashed that one there. Now, I just knew that was coming. An outstanding run by Mo Salah. And a spec spectacular finish to top it off. What a strike. A stick of dynamite there by Mo Salah. Sometimes that goes off the crossbar. It's slammed down back into the net. 1-1 one, one apiece. Man, this Liverpool side is so good. Firmino. Oh, good tackle, Rudiger. Kept us alive. And now we go again. Mount. Just go all the way, Mason. Go on. We're flooding players forward. Lukaku. Rum. Oh, denied. Went it back. He did. Pulisic. We've still got possession of the ball. Chelsea. Kai Havertz. To Werner. Go on. Yes. A big save from Allison from Romelu Lukaku. But we didn't give up. We didn't relent. We continued. And we've made it 2-1 here. Oh, that's awesome. Absolutely bins it there by Timo Werner. That's total football. Oh, Kai Havertz. A goal and an assist. He's probably going to pick up the man of the match. What a goal there by Timo Werner. It's been the Romelu Lukaku show the first couple of matches. But now Timo Werner's really stepped up. That's terrible. Liverpool go again to Salah. Dude, Mo Salah denied from a good grab by Mendy. Plucked that one out the sky. Ball in. Second half now. Liverpool at the other end. Hendo to Firmino. Blocked. Just need to get it out, man. 2-2. <sighs> with All things are tied. Yeah, I didn't want to give up possession of the ball. But Liverpool pressed me so hard there. I should have just cleared it out. Go on. Good stuff, Rudiger. He's definitely been the defender of the match. Mount to Angula Conte. Got two Liverpool players just man marking him, and Hakim Ziyech has found a little bit of space. The Moroccan with a couple bits of nice skill. Go on, Mount. Mason! Oh, how's he snuck that one in? There was a roulette, a chop, a pirouette, what do you want to call it, from Hakim Ziyech. We put the pressure, and Mason Mount has put us in front again. Man, what a crazy match here at Anfield. Oh, how's Mason put that one in? Smashes it into the side netting. Surging forward. I actually quite like his functional role in the center of midfield. He goes forward and he comes back into defend as well. Keita, Thiago, Mane, Liverpool. Just keep going forward. Put in a tackle, boys. Let's go. There we go. We've caught him here on the break. Go on, Timo. Burns past Trent. We're going to sweaty goal. Sweaty goal. Lukaku. He actually got caught there. If I smashed that, I don't think it would have gone in. 4-2. Oh, we've got a two-goal lead now. Thanks to Liverpool. Pushing way too many players forward. That's what you get, man. We soak up the pressure with a three defense, which fluctuates to a five. We are three in attack, five in defense. I'm really enjoying this formation, but it's taken a sweaty goal by Romelu Lukaku there to put us further in front. Ah, Pulisic. His tackle gets denied. Mo Salah. Inside, Firmino. Mendy with a grab. We'll try to bring it out from the back again, Chelsea. Ah, Kante tackled. Firmino. To Trent. Liverpool at it again. Oh, my God. 
These long shots, man, are insane in this FIFA. I can see so many long shots just outside the box. I know Mendy isn't the best goalkeeper. 84. What does he have a potential of like 86? But the dude's tall enough to be saving that type of goal. Firmino, outside the edge of the area. Mendy goes full stretch, and it's a brilliant and perfectly aimed up top left finish there. We're going to have to park the bus now. Let's drop the five at the back, and we'll hold our 4 3 lead. Let's park the bus. Let's slam that fucking thing between the uh, the two sticks. All right, we'll bring on um, Jorginho and uh, Kovacic and Chilwell. And that's it. 3-4. We managed to win against Liverpool. Wow, what a crazy scoreline. They looked super up for it. There were times that both teams looked amazing. Um, but it was quite even. 2.2 .2 expected goals each. Really? All right. Okay, let's end that one there. So, so far, we are undefeated in the Premier League, which is awesome. I might take the press conference in this one after the 4-3 victory. I don't usually take the press conferences, but that was a crazy match. I usually get my morale up by playing enough, but are you worried when you conceded that late goal? Yeah. Hell yeah. That Firmino goal, goal was mental. Um, it seems like... Were you worried about Liverpool's late goal? Could the game have slipped away? You can't relax at any point. Uh, winning's what's count, however we managed it. Yep, I agree with that. Park in the bus. Liverpool are very good going forward. Yeah, no shit. Um, were you pleased to limit Liverpool's chances today? Yeah, I guess. So the team morale's very happy. We're on a, th a three victory streak. Okay, we've got some more Youth Academy players. Mm. What's the value that most people sign these on? Just depends on who you got, I guess. A million is always good because then they become like world class. About 600k valuation is probably the minimum. But I don't tend to invest too much in Youth Academy players because they take like six seasons to develop into the first team. And I don't have time for that. I don't play six seasons overly too much. Okay, so we end August now with four wins. A UEFA Super Cup win. And then three in the Prem. So we've got Aston Villa, Man City, Spurs, and some Champions League fixtures. Okay, we'll simulate this one against Aston Villa. Although they're doing all right here in sixth place. But I want to focus against... I want to play teams in the top six. And... Yeah. Teams that are our sort of direct rivals. The second team can actually play in this one. If you want to see me play everyone t once, go check out the United career mode after this video. But I'm only going to play matches I want to play in this Chelsea career mode. Uh, and we lost. <laughs> Karma. We probably should have played that one then. The second team wasn't good enough. 2-1. Oh, that's disappointing. We need to rotate them for the Champions League run. Okay, so Juventus we start off with, then Malmo, okay. Alright, let's get stuck into the first match of the UEFA Champions League, where we face Juventus at home. It's going to be a good one. Morata is facing his former side, and Dybala is always a tough Champions League player, but we are facing Piemonte Calcio. I can't stand playing against Italian sides that don't have the licenses. I just can't wait for mods to come out to finally patch that stuff. Because I can't imagine wanting to do a an Italian career mode these days. There's just so many pl like teams. Juventus. Atalanta. Roma. Lazio. Yeah, dude. That Italian league has been ripped bare. But anyway... First match of the season in the Champions League. Let's go. Chiesa. Juventus look good. Ball in. Whoa. Um, okay. Rabio with a absolute rocket. 
Yeah, rifles it straight at Mendy, but I think Morata picked up the deflection. Celebrating against his former club, you grub. Morata, you snake doing that. To be fair, I'm pretty sure Chelsea rejected him because he was absolutely shocking. How did that... What? So Rabio hits it. Oh, that's ridiculous. It's come off Morata's knee. How is that a goal? No wonder Mendy didn't save it right off the kneecap. Pulisic on the left-hand side. A little bit quiet in this career series so far. Ball in. And that's probably why. Terrible. Go and win that. Good stuff, Thiago. Dude, he's still got it, Silva. Hakim Ziyech goes for goal. Oh, just wide. Cutting in on that right-hand side. The dude's awesome. Werner to Lukaku. Go on, Chelsea. No, not good enough to beat Chesney. N'Golo Conte on the ball to Kai Havertz. Oh, good shot straight at the feet of Chesney. That's offside, though, in the end. Far out. Come on, we need to step up in the Champions League. We can't just be Premier League flat track bullies. Rom. Lukaku. Uh, facing a former Italian rival. Just not good enough, hey, Rom. Second half now. Conte. Look at this. They are putting a lot of players back behind the ball. Werner. Yes, we've broken through thanks to a piece of brilliance by Timo Werner. Dude, he has stepped up in these last couple of matches. Good. We're sharing the load all around the pitch. It's 1-1. Come on, man. We've been good in this match. We deserve something. I might just have to go for it, to be honest. Arthur to Morata. Good tackle, Aspie. Aspil Equator to Werner. Here we go. Three on three situation. Hopefully we can expose them. Timo Werner breaking away from Bernadeschi. It's a goal. Timo Werner scores a brace in the dying embers. The dying minutes of the second half. Timo Werner makes it 2-1. Good. We're a little bit hard done by by that Rabio Morata deflection goal. And Werner has scored two goals within 20. Just passing it around the back here. Five at the back now. We win two win. Two one. Whew, we pick up the win. I'm so happy. <laughs> Getting tongue tied towards the end. But we are continuing our decent unbeaten run. Well, technically we lost to Aston Villa, actually. All right, let's get stuck into Spurs. Obviously, a huge rivalry. Now, after that loss, we did drop off a bit. After four games played, we have three wins and one loss to Aston Villa. So, we definitely need a win against Spurs. Townsend is the top goal scorer. All right. But this is obviously a huge, huge rivalry. Chelsea and Arsenal. Uh, what? Chelsea and Arsenal is a big rivalry, but Chelsea and Spurs is definitely up there as well. All right, let's get stuck into Spurs under Nuno Espirito Santo. Hakim Ziyech, terrible flick on. Hang on, we might have... Oh, no, 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 get it out. Come on, boys, deal with this. Uh, we just mounted a lot of pressure on us there. Eight minutes in. Yeah, maybe playing it out from the back is... The thing is, right... I like to play it out of the back and keep possession. I don't. I really don't like to waste it and squander it because, well, at the end of the day, if the opposition, the AI, has the ball, they're more likely to attack. So you want to try and contain and hold on to possession as much as you can. Go on, Chelsea. Lukaku to Werner. Oh, nice little bit of skill to beat Emerson. Good save by Lloris. They probably kept them in the tie, that save. Ball in. Go on, boys. Press them. Ah, Spurs are away here. Hoiberg. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now we go. Timo Werner. Blistering pass with his pace, and it's a goal. 1-1. One, one. We've managed to draw back 
for the tie. Oh, good stuff. We're not out of this match yet. Pulisic. Dyer comes out. Should be able to murk him. Does ball in. Oh. The problem is with Spurs. They have a couple of world-class players, like two. Oh, hang on. How's Pulisic gotten to that one? 2-1. Scores his first goal of the Premier League season. Yeah, the point I was going to try and make is Spurs are always really tough to face because they have two world-class players in Son and Kane, but the rest are elite players on career mode. <laughs> Not so much in, uh, in real life, but... Anyway, 2-1, Christian Pulisic scores his first goal. Good stuff. Second half now, Werner looking for his second. Chops straight into danger. And Spurs hold out from this attack. Embarrassing. Nice one-two passes from Spurs. Dude, the amount of triangles there drawing around me. Oh, terrible interception there, trying to get him Dombele. Good tackle, Aspie. Can he get the follow-up? He can't. Spurs might be in here. Oh, my God. I've said this before, man. These long shot goals are mad. Deli Alli didn't even have that much momentum. Straight into the back of the net, 2-2. That's a terrible ball by Romero. Oh, no. Spurs might be in here. Good stuff. Thiago Silva. Dude, this Donny still got it. At his age. Rom turns his man well. Romelu Lukaku. Goal. Oh, that was brilliant. Does the textbook Lukaku. Draws the defender in and turns his man brilliantly. 3-2. No, 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 no. So we can't... Oh my god, I thought that was going to go in. <laughs> I was like, that'd be typical. In the 91st minute, Deli Alley. Oh my god, I can't believe that missed. Ball in. Come on. Get it out. Good stuff, Chilwell. Put it out. Yeah, <laughs> 3 2. Oh my god, that was written, that Deli Alley Ali screamer. But thankfully. It was just offline. 3 2. We win against Spurs narrowly. Crikey. Still conceding a lot, but we're picking up the dub. Okay, so we've got the. What is this? Third round in the cup? We'll let the second team play it. We'll risk it, because we've got some more important fixtures coming up. Oh, no! Now, that's the risk you take with Sims, guys. We are out of the EFL Cup. Damn. Well, at least it wasn't the FA. I, I prioritised that, but... Burnley went out and smashed us. This second team with Kepa. Yeah, maybe ain't it. Werner picked up the goal, though. Okay, so we've got Man City. That's what I needed to prioritise. Yeah, we're out to Burnley. Okay, let's get stuck into the final match of today's video. After five games played, Man City sit at the top, followed by Everton in second. We're in third. Watford fourth under Ranieri. <laughs> uh, West Ham in fifth. United in sixth. Townsend still the top goal scorer for them. So, we've beaten all the top six sides for now. We still have to face United, of course. But... A massive match here against Man City. The thing is, right, we're not, like, smashing sides. No way. We are narrowly winning by one goal here and there by the smallest of margins, and we're conceding a lot. It's our tactics, man, that are making us win. Edison trying to bring it out from the back. Come on, Mount, win that. Good header. And this fire to Timo, who fires it to Rom, turns his man. Kai, unfortunately, got in the way. But he's managed to smash it into the back of the net. Kai Havertz at the bridge. 1-0 against Man City. And we're starting off the scoring here. Wow. I nearly think the boys stuffed up that one. Ball came firing in from Werner. Rom turned his man. Kai Havertz was actually in front of him. Just kept on going. 
He has been insane in this career mode, Kai Havertz. Two goals in five. Come on, Chelsea. Rom opens up a lot of space for Mount. Ah, straight at Edison. And cleared. At the other end now, Gabriel Jesus. Ball in. Oh, my God. What a superb defending display there by Silva with the diving header to save the goal. The Blues facing the light Blues. Mendy trying to bring it out from the back. He's got a... Oh, no, 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 no! I was going to say, you got to risk it sometimes playing it out from the back, but... Yeah, we, that's how we're getting caught a lot, but I just don't want to give up possession. Like, if we bomb it in the midfield, we're going to concede anyway. Oh, terrible. Oh, shit. 1-1. One, one. De Bruyne comes back. Yeah, Aspie just got caught there. Not quick enough. Mount. Lukaku. Go on, Rom. Nice piece of skill. That was a really, really good run there by the big man. Havertz, ball in. Rudiger, just over the bar. Gundogan. Silva, Jal Cancelo. Jal. To Sterling. Oh, Rahim. Hits the crossbar. Oh, my God. Good recovery there by Mendy. Oh, my God. Aspie, you're losing the ball so much. Conte. Chelsea. Going forward here to Kai. Good block there by Man City. Ball in. Ah! Good punch. Still 1-1. One, one. Man City go again. Mendy at full stretch. Werner. 87th minute now. Go on, Timo. Oh, he's got it. Oh, my God. We finally deserve a late goal like that. 2-1. Man City looked great in this match. But now we just need to hold on. Nice one-two pass. Timo Werner. This dude is insane. He is such a good player. Five goals in six matches. He's such a sweaty career mode player because of his pace and fantastic finishing. Partnering with Rom as well. The lap. Come on. Five at the back. Chuck in a reducer. He's going to take the yellow there, James. Just need to buy ourselves enough time. Park the bus. There we go. Get it out. Wow. <laughs> um, we've managed to somehow get another narrow victory by a goal. 2-1. Oh, a one-goal a, a one victory is the best result in football that I've found. <laughs> okay, so then we've got some Champions League matching uh, coming to the end of September. Then we start the October, which... Hasn't got too many crazy teams. And we've got United in November, Leicester as well. All right. Well, unfortunately, guys, I have to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching Season 1, Episode 1 of my FIFA 22 Chelsea Sensible slash Realistic Career Mode. Hope you guys enjoyed. I've had an absolute blast. It's a lot of fun <laughs> only working with what you got. Like, we're not relying on brandly new signed players to sort of drag us to victory so my second team is a little bit exposed that i found we definitely need a, a replacement striker so i am tempted to maybe bring back tammy abraham in january let me know in the comments if that's something you like to see defense wise as well although rudiger is my best defender by far i think aspil equator has been inconsistent and tiago silva p pulls out some amazing moments i just feel like aspi aspil equator and tiago silva are probably going to decline in stats too much they also don't have much pace about them either so we might be better off to go out and sign like a jules kunde or, or maybe bring in like a, a teo hernandez from Bayern Munich potentially but yeah so I don't want to go out and sign like a bunch of brand new players I'm probably looking for a striker 
And if we can't get Tammy, we might not go and sign anyone until next season, season two. Um, let me know in the comments. But I think we definitely need a defender looking to January. But so far, a really fun and enjoyable episode. Hope you've enjoyed this hour-long episode. Stay tuned for more daily Chelsea career mode content on the channel. So hopefully we can continue our fantastic Premier League form and try and win the title. And hopefully we can pick up our performances in the Champions League a bit. We only narrowly beat... Juventus, I want to go on a really good Champions League run. But we're out of the Carabao Cup, which is really disappointing. But we've still got the FA Cup to play for. So hopefully I don't get the sack because of that. It's all to play for in this Chelsea career mode series. All right, thanks, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the video. I've got to play the outro now and say thank you to this month's patrons and channel members. Unfortunately, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Check out my social media links in the description below if you'd like to stay connected with me. Got to say a huge thank you to my patrons and channel members. Victor K, Sebastian C, Jordan K, Caesar L, Brian S, Tal, Liam B, Kyle P, Tom C, and Wyatt P. So thanks, guys. My name is Ben Simsey. Much love from Australia. Goodbye.